Hi everyone Nico here with another recap. Today's anime is called More Than a Married Couple, But Not Lovers. In this world, students are paired with each other for mandatory couples training to help prepare them for marriage. But our protagonists Zakari and Jiro don't want to be paired with each other and want to be paired with their love interests instead. Can they get along if they are forced to live together? Watch to find out. It is soon time for the school to pick pairs for the mandatory couples training. Akari and Shiori accidentally run into each other at the shrine, both hoping for good luck in their future partners. Meanwhile, Jiro and Sataharu discuss the practical marriage and although Jiro is an unrepentant gamer he secretly hopes to be paired with his crush Shiori. Akari and her crew arrive and demand they get out of her way, and they watch as her group fawn over Minami, a popular idol at their school. Jiro remarks that when Minami arrives Akari changes her demeanor from mean to kind. In class Jiro speaks with Shiori and they each express their worry about the practical marriage, and Jiro doesn't have the heart to tell Shiori his feelings for her. Their teacher describes the rather intrusive practical where the school provides housing and monitors their every move as well as monitoring their heart rate and other vitals. The school also has a ranking system in place and rewards the couples that do well. Unfortunately Jiro gets paired with Akari who is angry to be paired with a loser like him. She knows that he is disappointed not to be paired with Shori and they argue, but quickly realize that since they don't get along they are going to be losing points. Akari suggests a plan that they get along so they can quickly score points, and if they score in a rank or in the top 10 of couples they can switch to their actually desired partners. Jiro gets embarrassed about what it means to be in a rank couple and Akari teases him for points. He retreats to get a drink to calm down, and she cries because she really wanted to be paired with Manami. Jiro also discovers that Minami has been paired up with his crush Shiori and he quickly becomes depressed. Akari tries to comfort him and suggests they do their best to try to become an rank couple so they can achieve their dreams. He is uncertain because he doesn't have as much experience as her, but she asks him to try his best. Sataharu arrives to hang out and Jiro prepares to leave and Akari demands he give her a goodbye kiss. She teases him because she thinks he won't do it but he suddenly goes for his first kiss. When he leaves Akari is embarrassed because she meant a goodbye kiss on her cheek. The next day Akari wakes Jiro by hitting him, interrupting his pleasant dream. At school he sees Minami and Shori and he can't help but feel sad, as they seem to get along well. Jiro's teacher tells him the marriage practical is important for his grades and if he doesn't do well he can't graduate. It starts to rain and Jiro is stuck at school with Sataharu. Akari arrives but ditches them for karaoke with Minami. Later while he is waiting for the rain to end, Shari also arrives because she was staying late at school and she hugs him. They have a moment but are interrupted by Minami who has come for her because she forgot her umbrella. The both of them leave while Akari eavesdrops, feeling sorry for Jiro. Akari comes back to share her umbrella with Jiro and they head home. She comforts him and tells him not to give up on Shiori and that he needs to focus and try his best. At home Akari makes delicious omelette rice for them and he is amazed at her cooking. He feeds her and they almost kiss, but are interrupted when his phone rings. They each can't help but think about the kiss. And that night Jiro has another pleasant dream about Shori until he is awoken by Akari. She asks him to stay with her and they watch horror movies together because she heard that if the couples watch horror movies together they can get a lot of points. She also gives him some pajamas to wear because it will get them more points and they change into them. Suddenly lightning strikes and the power goes out. And Jiro is shocked when Akari grabs onto him because she is scared of lightning. They can't get into their bedrooms because the power is out and they have fingerprint security, so they have to share the couch together. To pass the time he starts to tell her a ghost story but she is way too scared. They use scented candles since the power is still out and they start to fall asleep next to each other. Though embarrassed, he can't help but think about how cute she is when she is asleep. The next morning Jiro and Sataharu are shocked to find out that Jiro and Akari have ranked up to a B-ranked couple. But they are all even more shocked when they find that Minami and Shiori are an E-ranked couple with barely any points. With this revelation, Jiro feels worried for Shiori even if he is happy that she and Minami don't seem to be getting along. Meanwhile at the music club Shiori is listening to Mei play the piano. The two are best friends and Mei asks Shiori about her marriage practical score, and Shiori replies she already has her love interest. Later, Jiro is sick and feeling a bit lonely since Akari went out with her friends, when suddenly Shiori arrives for a visit. Akari is at a dessert shop with her best friends Sachai and Natsumi where they tease her about her crush on Minami. They discuss the desserts that are named after kisses, and she can't help but think about her kiss with Jiro. Jiro and Shori hang out, and Shori reveals that Akari asked her to visit him since she will be out with her friends. They remember their childhood past together, where Jiro often took care of Shori when she was sick. One day Shori had to transfer to another school, and Jiro tried to confess to her but stopped when she expressed worry about their long-distance friendship. 
so to this day he never told her how he feels. She brings him delicious food and they talk about their practical marriage. A little guilty, he expresses worry about the marriage practical score and if she is doing alright. Shiori reveals that she is a bit anxious around guys she doesn't know and that is affecting her score. She also expresses that she had hoped that they would have been paired together. He tries to cheer her on and gives her confidence, even if it means Minami and Shiori could become closer as a result. Akari and her friends discuss a rumor that Shiori and Minami are actually annoying each other. But when they start to talk badly about Jiro, Akari feels conflicted and stays quiet. While Jiro is sleeping Shori leans over him as if to kiss him but stops. She has a crush on him and in the same childhood memory where Jiro almost confessed to her, she almost confessed to him as well. She feels sad that she still doesn't have the confidence to confess to him. When Akari returns, Jiro thanks her for sending Shori to take care of him and that he will do his best to score points for them as a couple so that she can fulfill her dream of being with Minami. He heads to sleep and Akari feels conflicted about the situation. Akari and Jiro who are paired together for mandatory couples training but who plan to switch to their desired partners, discuss their plans over lunch. Akari asks Jiro if her crush Minami might prefer a girl like Shiori who is more soft-spoken. Jiro thinks that perhaps the key to a guy's heart is food and recommends that she makes bento for Minami. They work together to make bento for her crush and come up with a number of delicious items to bring to school. Jiro tests them and finds them perfect. At lunch Sataharu is jealous about Jiro's bento filled with Akari's cooking, as they had a lot of extras from that morning. Sataharu feels like Jiro is living a life out of a manga, and angrily tells him to share his experiences with his best friend. Jiro is tired of his best friend who keeps objectifying Akari, and they are surprised when Akari approaches them to ask Jiro how the lunch tastes. The next morning Akari is making bento for Minami, and plans to take them to Minami's part-time job and she gives some to Jiro. He finds it delicious but is conflicted because the food isn't really for him. He feels jealous because Akari has dressed up and wrapped the bento just for Minami. They get wrapped up in saying goodbye and almost kiss but are interrupted by the door, where Shiori has come to visit with apple pies. She reveals that the pies were a request from Minami, as Minami loves sweet things. Shiori asks about the bento box, and looking at the perfect apple pies Akari feels disheartened. She decides not to deliver the bentos to Minami and feels that her cooking won't be good enough. Jiro attempts to cheer her up but panics because he isn't used to complimenting girls. She teases him because he is clearly attracted to her and she starts to encourage him until Jiro stops their moment, saying that they shouldn't be acting so closely because they each have their respective crushes. She stops and says they should stop their married couple act and end their plan to reach AE rank. And the next couple of days they lose points as they ignore each other. Later the couple's training points are released and Minami and Shiori have reached AE rank in the end of month evaluation. Sataharu asks about Jiro's points, as he and Akari have dropped very low in the rankings. Shiori approaches Jiro to ask him about what happened between him and Akari, as their scores have dropped. He states they had an argument and she encourages him to make up with Akari. He returns home to see that they have zero points and approaches Akari. He apologizes but she argues that he has nothing to apologize about. But he senses that she is still upset. And he states that he hates how everything has been awkward between them and that he did not rebuff her because he disliked her and that he found her attractive and wanted things to go back to normal again. She laughs at him because of how desperate and serious he sounds, and she replies that she found their fake married life more enjoyable than she thought. She teases him into kissing her hand and they decide to go back to acting like a couple. Akari and her friends gossip about their experiences in the mandatory couple's training as an uncertain gyro watches afar with his friend Sataharu. They watch as all the girls including Akari fawn over Minami and his skill in sports. Sachai and Minami discuss the news that couples who have been reaching AE rank, who should be able to switch, have not actually been switching to different partners. They know of Akari's plan to reach AE rank, and they admire her dedication and comfort their friend. A jealous Jiro watches Minami and compares himself as a weak peasant to the popular boy's heroic personality and looks, and Jiro has no idea how he is supposed to compete with someone like Minami. After gym class Shori approaches Jiro and asks what seems to be stressing him, and he stays quiet because he doesn't want to tell her she is the one causing him worry. He tentatively asks if she will want to stay with Minami since she reached AE rank. Meanwhile Akari is cleaning up the gym class, and runs into Minami in the storage room who saves her from some falling boxes. She is embarrassed to talk to him and is glad that she still seems to have a crush on him. But she is worried that maybe Minami and Shori are getting too close and asks if he will eventually want to switch partners. But he says he doesn't care either way. She starts crying and he comforts her. But a passing Sataharu sees them and thinks they are kissing. Shiori doesn't give an answer to Jiro. And Jiro tries to say that he will reach AE rank to switch partners for her. But a panicking Sataharu arrives and interrupts them. 
but is unable to tell Jiro what happened because Minami and Akari arrive. Sadaharu finds himself in a terrible position, unable to tell his friend what just happened. Shiori and Minami leave happily, while Jiro and Akari leave as well, unable to speak to each other. The next day with the girls missing, Jiro spends his time playing video games. Sadaharu tells Jiro that he saw Akari and Minami kissing in gym class, which puts Jiro in a bad mood. Once again Jiro can't help but compare himself to Minami. That night Jiro returns to the apartment where Akari is relaxing, and abruptly announces that he can't compare to Minami. He tells her that he knows about the incident in the storage room. Akari is confused and tells him the misunderstanding, and Jiro curses Sadaharu for giving bad info. Akari reveals she is actually sad that Minami and Shori don't seem to want to switch partners, and they cheer each other up because they can't seem to be with the people they like. Later Akari takes a shower and uses his shirt which Jiro finds incredibly cute, and they spend the evening together watching shows. Jiro finds her attractive so he tells her to be careful around him since they still want to be with their crushes and she teases him. She tells him that Jiro was actually her first and only kiss, and Jiro becomes shocked to hear this and he finds himself feeling really happy. Jiro thinks about his situation where an unpopular guy like him has been assigned to mandatory couples training to Akari, a popular but outspoken girl in his class. They continue their charade of acting like a couple only for the purposes of points. In class he becomes happy to discover that he has class duties with his crush Shiori and will be spending time with her. Not knowing that the situation was orchestrated by Shiori and her best friend May to help get Jiro to notice Shiori. Meanwhile Akari is gossiping with her friends. And they mention that over 10 couples have gone from couples training into becoming real couples over the past few weeks. They tease her for getting closer to Jiro, or Virgin Kun as they call him. She tries to deny anything is happening and that she still has a crush on the popular Minami. Jiro and Shiori spend the afternoon and evening performing class duties, and Jiro desperately tries but fails to come up with a good conversation with her. Shiori tries to talk about their childhood history, and Akari accidentally sees them together cleaning up the classroom. Suddenly Shiori asks him to bend down and Jiro starts to go for a kiss only for Shiori to wipe away some chalk dust from his face. Shiori actually was going for a kiss, but she was too scared and backed out. That night Jiro is reminded about his failed confession to Shiori in middle school, and Akari joins him with some warm drinks. They remark how beautiful the stars are looking, and how lovely it would be to see the same stars with their respective crushes. Akari suddenly asks Jiro to call her by her first name, but Jiro is too embarrassed because it would imply a certain closeness between them. Akari lets it go but states that she really likes her name, which means light, and that hearing it from him would be comforting. Jiro tentatively calls her by her first name and says that an exciting name like her suits Akari well, even as Jiro's name is rather boring. Akari finds herself embarrassed to be called by her first name, and she almost seems to confess to him. Horrified, she runs away to her room feeling confused about her feelings. The next day their teacher announces that grades are falling, so the couples will have their test scores combined and will take supplementary classes together. Akari is unconcerned, but Jiro is horrified because his scores are always terrible. He is concerned that Akari is going to kill him because he is absolutely a below-average student. Jiro asks Akari if there are any subjects she has trouble with but Akari dodges the question because she wants to go for karaoke with her friends. But Jiro insists that they need to study when he senses she is also not a great student. When they arrive back at home, Jiro discovers that Akari picks up subjects quickly but she fundamentally hates study. She tries to bribe her way out of study, but Jiro stays strong and demands that they keep study. Over time Akari does get better at her subjects and after several hours they make good progress. Jiro keeps praising her because he senses that she only improves when praised. And Akari thanks him for helping her concentrate. She teases him again to try to get a reaction out of him. But Jiro turns the tables and they start to have a moment until Jiro's nose starts to bleed. After they separate, Jiro thanks his nose for saving him from a dangerous situation. Akari wonders why Jiro is helping her study, and Jiro feels that he needs to put more effort into their relationship because Akari is trying hard to earn them points. Akari thinks about when they'll have enough points to change partners, and she finds herself feeling sad. The next morning Jiro notices that while they are preparing for school and eating breakfast Akari is calling him by his last name. He notices that she seems to be in a good mood and hasn't acted differently, but wonders what her calling him differently means. He seeks help from Google and Sadaharu tries to give him some advice. Sadaharu accidentally reveals his poor relationship with his own partner and he complains how women are not direct at all. They accidentally run into Shori and Mei, where they observe the two practicing confessing. Jiro struggles after school and wonders if Akari's change in behavior is because he still doesn't call her by her first name. At home, she reveals that their ranking has suddenly increased after all their effort. 
and after his shower when Jiro tries calling Akari by her first name she suddenly becomes embarrassed. Jiro keeps saying her first name sensing that it is what she wanted, and Akari finally admits that she wants Jiro to call her by her first name. Meanwhile Mei has noticed the rankings change, and warns Shiori that she needs to make a move on Jiro or risk losing him to Akari. Shiori has an accident and Mei tells Jiro to see her at the nurse's office, but she also wonders why Shiori is interested in a coward like him. Jiro brings snacks to Shiori to help her recover, but he notices that Minami had come earlier and gave her the same snacks. She asks how couples training with Akari is going, and wonders if they have gone further in their training. Shiori is worried that everyone around her is maturing fast and she still feels like a child. She suddenly asks if Jiro could help her practice kissing, and Jiro asks if perhaps she would like to practice with someone more experienced, but Shiori insists that she would like to practice with him. They start to kiss but Shiori backs out again. Suddenly Sachai enters the nurse's office and her sudden arrival causes Jiro and Shiori to accidentally kiss. The two are incredibly embarrassed to share the unintended kiss and Jiro quickly retreats. At the same time Akari is worried about Jiro because he isn't responding. And her friend Sachai tells her that she left the nurse's office because students were there doing indecent activities. Akari becomes sad when she gets a text from Jiro saying he was at the nurse's office. Akari skips studying with Jiro to sit alone in a cafe and her depressed state causes the workers to give her free drinks to cheer her up. When she returns home she wonders if Jiro and Shiori have become a real couple, and if Jiro won't be close to her anymore. But when she arrives into the apartment she sees Jiro passed out on the couch. Exasperated, she makes a bed for Jiro and realizes that he was waiting for her to come back until very late. A tired Akari decides to sleep on the couch with Jiro. The next morning Jiro is shocked to see her undressed and sleeping with him, and though a little embarrassed and Akari starts to tease him about the night before. He has no memory of anything happening the night before and starts to apologize for taking advantage of her, but Akari admits that she was just joking. Jiro doesn't appreciate the gaslighting and is also disappointed he is still a virgin, but a distraught Akari scolds him for not thinking about Shiori. Jiro meets with Sadaharu and can't help but think of sleeping with Akari the night before. Meanwhile, Akari's friends Natsumi and Sachai are worried about their friend and ask how she feels about the practical marriage, and Akari is sad that her crush Minami seems to be getting along with Shiori. They advise Akari not to use Jiro as a rebound. After Akari leaves they discuss the love triangle between Shiori, Akari, and Jiro and make a plan to help their friend. Akari is going to the fireworks festival and Jiro helps Shiori dress traditionally in her yukata. At the festival Akari's friends reveal that they invited all the guys in the school including her crush Minami. Akari is conflicted because though she still loves Minami, she has continued to think about Jiro. However when the guys arrive they reveal that they couldn't get Minami to come to the festival because he was busy with his part-time job. Sachai orders the useless boys to get them food for failing their mission. Akari spent a lot of time preparing for Minami to arrive, but she feels strangely relieved as she feels caught between him and Jiro. Suddenly Akari sees Minami at the festival with Shiori and heartbroken she goes home, not knowing that Minami and Shiori were just taking a shortcut through the festival grounds. Alone in the apartment Jiro hopes that Akari is having a good time at the festival. She suddenly calls him crying and he rushes to help her and finds her sobbing outside their apartment. She feels like a failure after everyone helped her prepare for the festival and he comforts her. They watch the fireworks from their apartment balcony and she asks if he thinks she's cute. He helps her change the ribbon on her yukata but they end up hugging instead. The two watch the fireworks finale and Jiro thinks sadly that this will probably be the first and last show they'd see together. The next day everyone is at home being depressed teenagers. The next results of the marriage practical come out and Jiro finds out that he and Akari are just a few points short of being an s rank couple. Akari barges into his bath because she sees a spider and demands he kill it, even though it was really small. She is nervous because the spider disappeared before they could kill it, and she asks him to stand guard in front of the bathroom. They eat food together and wonder if in an alternate life they could have been a couple, and Akari asks if they could start dating for real until she says she was just joking. Suddenly Akari sees the spider and she refuses to let go of Jiro. That night, although in different rooms, Akari sleeps close to the wall to be closer to Jiro. Shiori who can't bring herself to confess to Jiro asks Minami for advice for her friend's relationship issues as she can't stop thinking about her kiss with Jiro. Minami correctly deduces that she is talking about herself and tells her to go for it. Mei also encourages Shiori and gives her advice. They decide to have a sleepover together, but Mei backs out at the last minute. Shiori walks home and sees Jiro being with Sadaharu. Jiro tries to explain himself but he and Shiori have trouble talking to each other. He walks her home enjoying each other's company.
and they almost kiss. Summer vacation arrives and Sadaharu gets Jiro's help by signing them up as workers at his brother's cafe for the summer. Sadaharu begs Jiro to go because he needs money for his summer gacha games. Shiori sees them and reveals that Mei and her also applied for the same job. She is happy to hear that Jiro will be there as well, and Jiro becomes excited that they will all be working together. He returns home to see Akari in her swimsuit and she teases him for getting excited over a simple swimsuit. She plans to go swimming with her friends, and he feels concerned for her safety. She also states that she applied to a part-time job with her friends at a cafe near the beach. Since they will be separated for a month, she demands he say that he will be lonely, and they comfort each other. She hopes he has a fun summer at the beach instead of playing video games, and they find out they will be working at the same cafe. The group arrives at the cafe and moves into the dormitory run by Minami. As they prepare for work, Sadaharu tells Jiro to use this chance to talk to girls and Shori asks Jiro if they can work in the kitchen together. Minami teaches Akari to use the cash register as Mei teases Shori about her working with Jiro and tells her this is her chance to confess this summer. Shiori teaches Jiro how to make a sweet drink but he messes up and makes a mess. She almost confesses to him but backs out when she spots people spying on them. They both think about their childhood summer and swear that they will confess to each other before this summer ends. The group goes swimming at the beach and Jiro finds that Akari is wearing a more conservative swimsuit than before. They play in the sand but Jiro and Sadaharu are distracted by the girls, and Sadaharu thinks that this is the closest they will get to girls in swimsuits except for virtual reality. Later the group tasks Jiro and Akari to get food for the group and the two of them use the couple's discount to order a large amount of food. When he gets their food, he finds her getting harassed by a couple of beach guys and he protects her by saying that Akari is his wife which scares the guys off. He apologizes for the lie because he had no idea what to say, and they return embarrassed. In the bath the girls talk about the guys they are partnered with for the practical, and Shiori and Akari think about Jiro. After her bath Akari teases Jiro, and they are almost caught by her friend Sachai. He accidentally calls her by her last name and she summons him to her room later with a hard look. That night she professes she hates that he reverts to being cold to her when others are around and he thinks too much about how other people see them. He thinks that he is too plain for her and being with him would be embarrassing. Akari feels like they should act like a couple outside their apartment, and he unintentionally calls her acting like a jealous girlfriend. Suddenly they hear Shiori and Mei and are forced to hide together. Since she is close to Jiro, Akari feels happy to be close to Jiro but feels like she doesn't have a place in Jiro's heart. They are almost caught in a compromising position by Mei, but Shiori and Mei think there's a ghost nearby. Jiro collapses on top of Akari because he overheats and has a heat stroke. They later promise to treat each other better. After Shiori and Mei return from the beach they see Akari and Jiro also returning separately and wonder if they were somewhere on the beach together. The next morning Jiro is excited to see Shiori in her pajamas and Shiori tries to tell him something but stops. Jiro joins Akari in preparing for the day and she teases him about their accident the night before. While working in the kitchen with Shiori, Jiro tells her about a test of courage that will take place later that day. And Shiori is nervous because she thought she heard ghosts on the beach the night before. He hopes that they are paired together and she accidentally says she loves his kind side, which causes her to leave embarrassed. Sadaharu had been eavesdropping on their conversation, and he asks if Jiro would like to be paired with Shiori for the test of courage, as he has the power to manipulate the pairings. Jiro agrees, but only if Akari and Minami are paired together as well. That night Sadaharu meets with Mei and they plan to pair Shiori and Jiro together. Although Mei agrees, she feels uncomfortable with the scheme. That night at the test of courage, all the pairings go as planned. Akari enjoys holding Minami's hand but can't help but compare his hand to Jiro's, and during the test she finds she loses her phone. Shiori and Jiro return from the test, and Jiro tells Sadaharu nothing happened because Shiori was too scared the entire time. When Akari and Minami don't return after a while Jiro starts to worry for Akari and can't help but feel a little irritated that she is with Minami. Minami calls the group to tell them that he and Akari have split up to find her phone. And feeling responsible Jiro leaves Shiori to help Akari since he knows she gets scared when she is alone. Although Jiro finds Akari's phone, Minami finds Akari and brings her to a shelter. Meanwhile, Shiori finds Jiro to tell him that Minami and Akari are waiting at a shelter. They take shelter from the rain and Jiro calls himself a loser for running into the forest. While Shori states that she's jealous of Akari because Jiro is so caring. Jiro asks about her practical with Manami, and Shori insists that nothing has happened as she starts to leave. When Jiro tries to stop her she tells him she thought being his childhood friend was enough but it wasn't for her, and she kisses him. Meanwhile under the shelter, Manami states that he sees Akari more as a little sister and a friend, and that he noticed her feelings for him a long time ago. Minami also tells her nothing is happening between him and Shiori, 
and that he has his own unrequited love. He encourages Akari to try her best with Jairo, and to attain love for the both of them. She thanks Minami for being her supportive first love and that she will do her best to pursue Jairo. After the summer job, Akari returns to the shrine to wish for luck, feeling her chances with Jairo are low because everyone has sensed something has changed between Shiori and Jairo. Shiori herself can't stop thinking about her kiss with Jairo, but she feels guilty because she can tell there is a spark between Jairo and Akari. Jairo is also thinking about the kiss, as it makes him feel conflicted about a first love he had half given up on. In the aftermath, Shiori apologized for kissing him and left. He decides to head into town and runs into Shiori buying manga for her brother. They make small talk and don't talk about their kiss, until Shiori asks if Jairo would like to shelter from the rain at her place. Jairo feels familiar with her apartment because his place with Akari has the same look and furniture. They quietly read together to wait out the rain, but Jairo can't concentrate and keeps staring at her. She retreats into her room as Jairo tries to sort out his feelings, until the two of them watch a double rainbow together on the balcony and take a picture together. She shows him a picture of the group at the beach, and Jairo returns home wondering where the line is between love and friendship. Later that day Akari texts Jairo out on a date, and he panics because he doesn't understand why she would ask him out as their marriage practical is on pause during the break. He wonders if this is a trap somehow or a plot to make fun of him, but he still agrees to the date. At the station, Jairo waits a long time for Akari and he almost leaves when she is late but Akari finally arrives in time dressed in a new outfit for their date, surprising him because she usually wears casual clothes at their apartment. She tells him she bought the clothes just for him, and she takes him to her favorite cafe for drinks where Jairo had never been. They also go to a cat cafe together, and Jairo enjoys seeing her softer side that he has become accustomed to throughout the marriage practical. As they go shopping into an arcade together, he feels happy and relaxed. And when she shows him a picture of them with a cat, he accidentally states that it looks like a family photo but Akari isn't embarrassed and tells him she'd like a pet cat for the apartment. At the end of their date Akari wants to take him to the shrine, and they run into Shiori on the way. Shiori asks Akari if she can go to the shrine as well, and if they can race there together. Akari agrees, solidifying their friendly rivalry and as the two girls race to the shrine, they pass by two childhood friends, a kissing couple, a marriage ceremony, newlyweds with a baby, and a young family, representing what is at stake between the two rivals. At the top of the steps, an old couple asks if they are alright, and the old man also happens to be called Jairo, representing the end goal for the two girls, to grow old with their own Jairo. Jairo catches up and realizes that the shrine is famous for romantic wishes, and though he doesn't know what is going on, he joins them with his own wish. As the school year starts again, Jairo and Akari happily fall into their domestic routine and they don't notice that they have finally become an ranked couple. And this is all for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.